Minor Figures is a London-based oat milk and canned cold brew coffee provider. Their products are vegan friendly and carbon neutral, which is incredibly impressive. I was attracted to their product because of their funky designs and their ethos whilst providing coffee. Their brews are nitro cold brew coffees and teas. This means that they've infused the coffee with silky nitrogen bubbles giving it a foamy cascading texture and a real latte head. Just to paraphrase what is said on their website. The link to their website is in the description if you're interested. But the real question is, do the drinks taste nice? Just a disclaimer, I purchased these drinks myself and I am under no obligation to be positive about the drinks. Also, I did not taste all of the drinks in one sitting since I wanted to enjoy them as they were intended. First up is their black coffee which is made up of a 100% coffee just filtered walker and arabica coffee. Specifically, an Ethiopian Guji Origins blend farmed from the Moolish washing station. There is actually a lot of information regarding this farm online. Opening the can, you can smell a lot of fruity berries with a hint of fermentation, which is actually quite a surprise to me. It has a subtle coffee taste with hints of berry, which is overall light but there are kicks of fermenty sourness that does not appeal to me. Those that like the taste of fruity berries with a fermented sourness that is not too overpowering, then this would be perfect. Also to note, it is not at all bitter, which is a good sign. The second can I tried was the mocha. Truth be told, I'm quite indifferent with mocha. Not that I don't enjoy them, but I don't think I've ever had one I particularly loved. I would either go for a coffee or a luxurious hot chocolate. The coffee origin is from Brazil, Sul de Minas, from the farm La Palma. First thing to note after opening the can, after the hissing of course, is that there is no smell. You have to put your nose very close to the drink to get any smell. And when you do, there is the smell of woody cocoa. You can see that the foam from the nitro is present, and you can see the flecks of sunflower oil as part of the oat drink ingredients on top of the foam. The initial thought of the flavour is that it is light. There is an initial taste of a smooth and light cocoa with a grassy, oaty and woody aftertaste that brings the word old to mind. In terms of texture, there is very little. More than water, less than semi-skimmed milk. The aftertaste leaves me thinking about old vintage wooden furniture. This makes no sense, but that is what comes to mind. Overall, I really enjoy this. I can imagine enjoying it in the summer with ice. There is no bitterness in the drink and I believe the vintage taste is from the coffee and this is complemented by the cocoa and oat milk very well. Would definitely recommend this one. I've had a number of very good matcha lattes so I was very interested in how this one would turn out. Minor Figures matcha latte is made up of a mixture of green tea and their oat milk drink. It uses ceremonial grade which is the highest quality grade of Japanese origin matcha. 0.8% of the beverage is made up of matcha tea, whereas the rest is Minor Figures original oat milk drink. The beverage has a very light OT soy milk like smell to it, even though there is no soy present in the drink, which is strange. There is a very light hint of fermentiness, but that's if you're looking for something beyond the lightness of the oat soy smell. Immediately after taking the first sip, I was pleased with the texture of the drink. It has a texture of a low fat milkshake, which is thicker than full fat milk. In my opinion, this is a win. After drinking it, you are met with the wonderful texture of the drink and a balance of oat and soy flavours, which again is weird since there is no trace of soy in the ingredients. Once you swallow the drink, that is when the light subtle flavour of green tea tickles the back of your throat which transitions into the hint of fermentiness that we could smell earlier. The green tea is a lovely sweet flavour with no bitterness at all. So far, this is my favourite. 
If you like subtle flavours of sweet matcha and soy milk with hints of oat and very little breaths of fermentiness, this is for you. Second to last is the oat latte made with Colombian coffee beans from La Palma, same farm as the mocha, which upon opening gave a nice sweet oaty smell. The drink has a very thin texture comparable to skimmed milk. It tastes very woody with hints of chocolate as soon as the strong wood flavour fades. There is definitely a bitterness present in this one which I am used to in coffees. It is not overpowering. Since it's familiar, I don't think it's a bad thing. The bitterness is present in the throat once you've swallowed the drink. There are hints of salty fermentation, but it is very subtle and quite pleasant. Like the mocha, there are flecks of sunflower oil visible on the foam. The oat latte is not bad. It's not good either, there's nothing outstanding about it, but for a canned cold brew, it's quite impressive. And finally, the chai latte. This beverage specifically only uses tea as its caffeine ingredient for its latte. A confession I have is that I never really liked chai latte. I do not like the typical overpowering ginger that I usually get from chai flavours, so I expected to hate this one. Its tea origin is Bagang, India, created ASAM GBOP, which is a very high quality grade tea. Upon opening the drink, it gives a lovely spiced fragrance that is delicate but expected from chai. The drink also looks more like a milky latte, even more so than the oat latte itself with the foam. After taking my first sip, I was stunned at how smooth and delicious the drink was. It was by far my favourite of the five. There is a delicious aroma as the liquid hits your mouth which is smooth and delicately spiced. There is a complex combination of flavours that are beautifully balanced. It starts with a sweet cinnamon spiced flavour and rolls off with a bit of clove and light hints of ginger and star anise. But the actual star is the nutmeg which carries these flavours from start to end. The drink is very smooth and silky. It is like balanced, fragrant water. In all other instances, the oat milk felt like a catalyst for the flavours to be combined, but the oat milk in this chai latte adds a whole nother level of complexity to the drink and fits in very well. Of the five, the chai latte is surprisingly my favourite. It is ironic that I left it to last because I was worried about it the most. The only thing to note is that once the fragrant aftertaste fades, it leaves a flavour and texture in my mouth that I want to wash out with water, but this is usually the norm with any latte drink. I will definitely get this again. So those were the 5 minor figures canned drinks that I could get the hold of, and I think that's all of them. In terms of preference, I would rank from favourite to least, chai latte, matcha latte, mocha, oat latte and finally black coffee. I disliked the black coffee by a mile. My normie taste buds could not handle the fermenty flavours. Overall, I would definitely recommend you try out minor figures if you have the chance. They are pushing boundaries and not cutting corners on quality. If you do not know what you want to try, then definitely go for the chai. It's converted a biased coffee drinker like me to prefer the tea option the best. What they are achieving is great. And by buying their products, you are supporting the creation of tasty canned drinks in a carbon neutral way. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.